Wagwan Squad. This episode is the episode you've all been waiting for. Lucy and I go on the most epic adventure across the world all the way to Botswana where we see all types of animals and have all sorts of adventures. So forward along for the adventure. Let's get right into it guys. There we go. Wagwan squad, day one is done. We're on to day two. It was a lovely, lovely night. So let the adventure begin again. This is our tent from the outside. And this is the camp, a par spot, a bar, breakfast. It's cold. It's warming up though, so. So we missed out yesterday on a bit because my bag was lost. We had to go get it. So we didn't get to go with everybody. But we still saw. Giraffes, elephants, impalas. James saw warthogs. A snake. And, snakes. and we saw a stein box. We saw three stein box. So it's been a good day so far. The rest of the crew who got to go um, on the first trip, they also saw lions. But today, we're starting again and we're very excited so let's Stay go tuned. yeah so guys we're driving the 2024 land rover defender all the way from south africa Ooh. to help us on our adventure we're using 20 inch all-terrain tires so we can go everywhere our vehicles come equipped with the land rover snorkel rooftop tents and we've installed CB radio so that we can stay in communication with each other as we drive across the vast Botswana plains. We are driving the Defender 110 Special Edition, as you can tell from the 110 and the metal plates on the bonnet. It's a regular Defender, no modifications, standard Defender steering wheel. We've got our infotainment system, gear shift. What's really cool, these have so much uses. So it's standard, your temperature dials. When you press this button here, this dial turns into the fan control. And when you press that button, this dial turns into your terrain selection. So if you want to go eco, comfort, grass, gravel, snow, which is what we will probably drive in. And then here, you can select your ride height. So this entire journey, we are going in off-road mode. So we can't go above 85 kilometers or it drops back down all in all guys this is one of the most amazing vehicles i really believe in what i sell so i'm over here in africa in botswana driving the land rover defender across botswana for seven days to prove to you this is the best stock suv you can buy that money can buy but it is quite expensive so if you can't afford it if you love it come down and buy one 49 and a half south camp road is where you'll find me well, Land Rover was up at Arthur and Drive across from Bustamante Children's Hospital. After a lovely night at the Manque Adventure Camp in Botswana, we are about to depart. But before we leave, the lovely staff is going to sing us a song. Wagwan squad yesterday because of our expeditions away from everybody else we missed out on a few animal sightings we still had a great time and we learned a lot from Stefan so it was awesome but we didn't get to see the lions with them a little sad but that was good yeah so once again just a little reminder make sure you're in off-road heights on our left, we noticed some uh, impala herd standing in the shade. Oh yeah, sitting there. So guys, we just saw our first animal for the day. That's a good start. Yeah. So a herd of impalas. They put us in car number two, so we'll see things first. So yeah, guys, let's get ready for an adventure. So you see all these trees that are broken down and stripped that we've seen from yesterday to today? That's done by elephants. So Botswana actually has an elephant problem where they have too much elephants. The elephant population in Botswana is around 130,000 and for the amount of food they need is astronomical. So 
yeah, they're, they've actually just started back hunting on elephants in Botswana because they want the population to get down to control and poaching. So legal hunting and, and conservation go hand in hand over here. Beautiful Botswana, beautiful Lawrence. Hey, 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 uh-uh, no, no, never. Y'all will never do that again. Rubber ducky, if you look out on your left and right, you'll see some really nice trees. The green and red one? Or the green and red one? You don't have service, baby. I saw you. You don't have service. I know I don't have service. Sorry, go to check your story. Did you notice your car is getting bogged down and close to getting stuck? Just stop. Do not press the brake pedal. Just take your foot off the accelerator. Because if you brake, the car dives into the sand, and if you accelerate, your car might dig in. Remember, it's not an adventure if you didn't get stuck. Do please do not do it on purpose. I was just thinking about getting stuck. You want to? Yes. <laughs> all right, guys. As you said, look, all of these trees are stripped bare because of the elephants. So the elephants are coming in here. Walking through and eating. We have a big truck approaching. Oh, big truck. When you get a chance, get out of the road for the guy. Easier for us to get out of the road. Robert, pull it over for us. Okay, then. Come on. That was sick. So the kudu on the right, second biggest antelope. Um, Can you see them? Yeah, as you can see, they are very well camouflaged. Where is your baboon? Oh, yeah. see? Yeah. Look. I know it's a big elephant. Oh, see him here? Maybe yeah. left, 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 left. Dundee, there's a, a baboon up front of you. Okay. Straight up past three, you turn that left around that big tree, those trees up front. Keep going. He's grazing. Yeah, thank you. Just stop for quick pictures, boy. There's more on the left if you come around the turn as well. Oh my god. Yeah. Guys, look to your right. There's a small herd of elephants. Elephants. The bushes. Where we see? Hmm. We have some zebra on the left. All uh, some water buck. Water buck we haven't seen yet. Oh, oh it's just a bit classic, I think. Oh god. Oh shit. Windows open. Rubber dog, can you let us know if these zebras are white with black stripes or black with white stripes? It depends on the day and what they identify as. <laughs> you wouldn't commonly find people swimming in these waters, would you? Oh no, not at all. Like when I see a river, I just really want to show it. So in the game drive vehicles, would one of the um, guys have a weapon to protect everyone or you just pray for the best? Pray for the best. Holy shit! We're all gonna die! You know, pride, big pride, actually go for the elephant because they're such limited food. Look at these bones. Warthogs on the left, guys. You haven't seen warthogs. We've got some bull riding on the edge of the water. Oh, yo, see them? See the warthogs running on the left? Yeah, they look like they taste good. That's a hippo run across it. That's sick. Oh, bro. Awesome. Day three, day three of our adventure in Africa, our Botswana road trip, and oh my god, what do you think? It's been magical, really magical. Like, Amazing. You... The elephants. The lions. The lions. So we saw three or four lions today. We saw so many elephants. What else? 
saw zebras. Wildebeest. We saw a lot of impalas. Yes. We saw hippos. A baby crocodile. Baboons. Baboons. Which were fighting. Yeah. Guys, it's what? Honestly, honestly, I you think. Have to come. Yeah. Find a way to put this into your life plan. This is so magical. I feel it's a special type of feeling coming here and seeing all of this, would you think? I agree. You agree? Magical was a great word, like I don't. We're literally about to have lunch on that tree. With have, six elephants. One, two, three, five. Five. <laughs> Oops. Five male elephants on a bachelor party. Oh wow. Yo, big up Kobe. Kobe was telling us just last weekend that Botswana was so amazing and like blew his mind, one of the most amazing places. And he was so right. Right now we're along going along the over Congo Delta. Alright squad, we just finished lunch. Crazy crazy. Look where we're eating lunch. I don't think I've ever had a better lunch or picnic in my life. The company is average. Let me show you stuff. <laughs> the company is great. The cars are even better. And this is just. Alright, guys. So we just had a lovely lunch. A little par. Ease off. Ease out. Cool out. Breeze out. What else? Chill out. Chill out. <laughs> So now we're going back on the road. You guys ready? Are you ready? I'm excited. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, guys. Let's get back in. As we made our way from our lunch spot to go to our next camp, we came upon this muddy section. But as you can see, this was no problem for the Land Rover Defender. Murdered it, loved it. Can't wait to do this again. Guys, this bridge was absolutely crazy. It was super scary. At the end of the bridge, there was this massive bull elephant and he kept going in front and blocking the road and coming back. Luckily, 
nothing happened and we all got the cross but super intimidating again Land Rover crushed it We made it to destination number three, day three. Now it's time to chill out, have a cider, and then maybe a couple bottles of wine. Yes, it I'm so happy to be here with you. I'm so happy to be here with all of you guys. Thank you for coming along, guys. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. The more you that follow and subscribe and share, the more things we can do, the more adventures we can bring you on. You see me? That is it. All right, we out. All right, guys, we are going to our room now at the Saguni Lodge. We are room number eight, the last river room. And this is insane. Lucy, what do you think? so cute. I love it already. Oh, wow. Look how close, guys. Look how close elephants get to the room. This is elephant shit. All right, guys, we've reached the room. Wow. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Not today. Today is tomorrow. Well, I would go out on a drive right now. Oh, whoa. Aww, who's so cute? Who's so cute? Top line. Yeah, I'm not only doing this for the ground, but I'm doing this because I love it. Who is so cute? Tell us now. Tell the vlog. You. Oh, babe, you're looking at the I sky. Know. I know they can't see me. Yes, yes, they can. Guys, just got back from having a shower, going get ready and we go. As uh, yes, no, we just got back from a swim. Now we're going to shower, get ready, and go have dinner. Day three is coming to a close, and wow, Africa as a whole has just been an experience. And Botswana, like wow, what an amazing country! What amazing people! It's such a safe country. The people follow the rules, they're very strict and they don't have much crime and when there is crime they deal with it and you know what, it's been a very nice country for a lot of people so rate it. Dinner of night three is done, drinks are done, Lucy's about to have her snacks, we're going to get ready for bed and go to bed. 
Africa has been amazing. I love Botswana. I want to come back. I think I could move here, but could you I move can here? move here. Put it, put it down and talk to them. I can move here. But you and your family are crying. I love my family. <laughs> Cheers, good night, everybody. <laughs> Guys, love you all. Thank you for those who support. Big up to those who are joining. Appreciate you all. Love you all. This is day four, night three, done in Africa. Done in Botswana. Big up, respect. We're gonna, we're gonna our bed. Later. We have encountered our first broken down vehicle 